Hi everybody, welcome to another Breaking Free video. If you haven't seen one before, check out True Unity Explained to understand a little bit about the technique I'm doing or check out one of the earliest Breaking Free videos which has more explanation of the technique. So today I'm speaking about breaking free of mental control. A lot of people might have seen my Instagram post about being a balloon person where most of the energy is just in the head and the rest of the energy body is starved. So a lot of people are stuck in this kind of mental control mindset where they feel they have to be sensible, they have to be rational, they have to explain everything. And because of that, the other energy centers are really starved and it's really hard to create a happy and fulfilling life because just making decisions based on your head is not going to give you good results. You might get a lot done, but you won't feel happy about it. So today's video is for those people who want to break free of that. Um, I will be doing only one exercise in one layer of this. If you want to work with me in person to create a new way of being and to really live from your spirit, you're very welcome to do that. Sadly, I can't do that in a free five to seven minute video. So the first thing to do is to step on that head area and head energy. And people who are really in their heads will feel that there is a lot of energy here, but it's very heavy because our heads shouldn't be responsible for making decisions in our lives and they shouldn't be the leader. But for many people, they are. They really identify with being their heads, being their minds, being rational. So if you're a headspace person, you will probably feel a lot of stuff going on and you notice that you're constantly worrying and this area is very heavy. So what we really want to do is to free your head to uh, take its rightful place. So the first thing to do is really to release this idea that your head is the best leader of your life. So the first thing to do in your headspace is just give yourself the freedom to be all of you. Just take this energy of freedom and acceptance and bring it to yourself. Um, I do bring it to my heart area now, but if you're really a head person, you might want to bring it to your head. And to really feel this freeing energy. So. If you did this, you might see that your head area is becoming more relaxed, like it just laid down this really heavy burden. So the head is free, but now it should take its rightful place. And that means that the head needs to be connected to all parts of you. Uh, you can take one specific part for the next step if you feel you're really disconnected from your body, from your heart, from your soul, from your intuition. Just take that specific part and else uh, just connect you, your head back to yourself. So take this energy of connection and make sure everything is connected again. So gently breathe in and out to establish these connections. You might sense an energy flow going up or down and in your head space, you will find another energy of calm and relaxation. So now the thing I always do to finish this is to actually get back to who the real leader is. So if everything of yours is connected and is ready to be integrated, you know you cannot make decisions by committee. So if you have this big round table and it has your instinct, your intuition, your body, your heart, your mind, you cannot you know, work by committee because your head and your heart sometimes have a conflict or your body and your instincts sometimes have a conflict. So yeah, there should be one guy in that round table or girl or spirit or whatever you want to call it. One energy that's able to talk with everybody and that's able to mediate all the conflicts and that is able to help you move forward. So for me, that is soul. Some people might be more comfortable with spirit or a higher mind. And that's the one that really knows what your soul purpose is. That's the one who's really gonna help you to take the best decisions for you. 
and it will listen to all parts of you and solve conflicts between them. So we give this leadership position back and we give it back to your soul. Just give it over so that your head can have its rightful place on the table as a piece of you that will be listened to and that will be consulted. But in the end, it needs to follow your spirit, your soul, your higher mind. And when you do that, you might for the first time in your life feel that your headspace is quiet. Because one of the ways of doing this is to get into a meditation and trance and really understand that you need to connect with your soul, with your spirit, with your higher mind to get the information you need for the best decisions. So bringing this headspace to the sense of peace and quietness is really going to help you to live a fulfilling and happy life and to invite uh, your higher mind, your spirit, your soul to take the decisions and bring you to the flow of miracles. If you want to work with me in person, just check out the website www.flowofmiracles.com or uh, check out the Instagram, which has a little bit of information about balloon people if you really feel that you are too much in your own headspace. <laughs>